Me llamo Julian Castro. I am a candidate for President of the United States of America. The very fact that I can say that tonight shows the progress that we have made in this country. Like many of you, I know the promise of America. My grandmother came here when she was seven years old as an immigrant from Mexico. And just two generations later, one of her grandsons is serving in the United States Congress, and the other one is running for President of the United States. We've been a little bit different from all the other campaigns. We've been speaking out for the most vulnerable folks in this country. People sleeping on the streets and in storm drainage tunnels in Las Vegas. Folks who are the victims of police brutality. We've been fighting for those who are often left out, cast aside, marginalized. Watching that image of, of Oscar and his daughter Valeria uh, is heartbreaking. It should also piss us all off. My plan also includes getting rid of Section 1325 of the Immigration and Nationality Act to go back to the way we used to treat this when somebody comes across the border, not to criminalize desperation. This president is caging kids on the border and effectively letting ISIS prisoners run free. If police in Charleston can arrest Dylan Roof after he murdered nine people worshiping at Bible study without hurting him, then don't tell me then Michael Brown and Tamir Rice and Ayanna Jones. What about Eric Garner and Laquan McDonald and Sandra Bland and Pamela Turner? What about Stephon Clark? And what about Antonio Arce? Woo! What about all of those young men and women whose lives were lost because of police violence? They deserve justice too. No matter who you are, no matter what you look like, no matter the color of your skin, you ought to be treated the same under our justice system. And we can help bring that about. I'm the only candidate that has put forward a plan on police reform. I haven't been afraid to stand up and speak the truth and fight for people that often aren't fought for and speak up for people that are often forgotten. If we all work together, we can build a nation more prosperous, not only for those who are already doing well, but for everybody else. I'm going to tell the truth. It's time for the Democratic Party to change the way that we do our presidential nominating process. I'm so proud of the campaign we've run together. We've shaped the conversation on so many important issues in this race, stood up for the most vulnerable people, and given a voice to those who are often forgotten. But with only a month until the Iowa caucuses, and given the circumstances of this campaign season, I've determined that it simply isn't our time. So today it's with a heavy heart and with profound gratitude that I will suspend my campaign for president. I'm so thankful to all of our supporters, the folks who knocked doors, made phone calls, donated, or told their friends and family about our bold vision to put people first. I'm not done fighting. I'll keep working towards a nation where everyone counts. A nation where everyone can get a good job, good health care, and a decent place to live. Where each of our children can walk across a graduation stage. Where kids like Trayvon can walk across their neighborhood in peace. And where Oscar and Valeria can walk to refuge. To all who have been inspired by our campaign, especially our young people, keep reaching for your dreams and keep fighting for what you believe in.